first special episode here on 2OT as we have invited the Grand Slam team of the San Miguel Coffee Mixers for 2014. Together with Magumar John, I'm Carlo Pamintuan. Everyone, thank you for joining us in this special reunion. Coach Tim, Co, Mamrina Del Mundo, Coach Richard Del Rosario, Alex Maliari, Peter June Simon, Rafi Rivas, Alain Malixi, and Joe Devance. All welcome to the show. Hi. I just saw. Thank you. I, I just saw Elaine there. Elaine, your hair. Elaine, what's Elaine? The hair is so super long. <laughs> Joe Devance will be joining us in just a little bit. But before we we ask the the basketball questions, just to start off, how has everyone been? Coach Tim, how have you been uh, since the lockdown started? Bored. <laughs> uh, wishing we could get back to practice, but uh, uh, it's been good. I mean, I've been spending time with my family. I get a lot of time with my son. I get to coach him every day. So instead of yelling at guys like Ale, Elaine and Alex and PJ, I get to yell at my son, Trevor. Poor guy. <laughs> poor Trevor. Yeah, poor Trevor. But he's, he's getting yeah, better. He's, he's only... Uh, He's only 14, so he's got some growing to do still. How about Coach Richard? How have you been, Coach Rich? I'm going, doing good. Uh, busy with cooking. That's busy, do. busy doing videos. <laughs> for the yeah, doing videos. Yeah, <laughs> I try. <laughs> Thank you. I believe Rafi is in the U.S. right now. Thank you for waking up, Rafi. I know it's it's a weird time. To, to do a Very call early. right now? Yeah. Uh, way past my bedtime. <laughs> we apologize and we thank you for still joining us. It's okay. I love you guys. So Remember, I'm, uh, I think it's right before your bedtime, right, Raph? No. Right before your bedtime? 4 a.m. or something like that? Yeah. No, man. <laughs> hey, I'm old, man. We go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of course, uh, me and Magu would want to thank Mamrina Del Mundo for helping set this up. Mamrins, uh, thank you so much for joining us and for you know just calling everyone to be in this call as well. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. She can't, she can't be excluded. She was too big of a of a role in the Grand Slam. <laughs> yeah, she was, okay. act, she was actually reluctant to join Coach Tim until I actually. Uh, did a screenshot on your text that she has to be there. That's that's the only reason she's here. She didn't want to. Well, we need her here. Okay, I'm here. She was our MIP, most important person in our in our in our run. She got everything together for us. Thank you. And also joining us, of course, Alex Maliari. Alex, how have you been, man? Looking as well. Uh, a lot of surf videos. And, uh, What's up, Justin, What's up? <laughs> how's everybody doing? Also, Justin Melton also here competing against Alain Maliksi for the best hair in this in this Zoom call right now. Oh, uh, there we go. I see him now. <laughs> hey, Mel. what's up, Coach? Hey, Josh. How are you, man? Are you you're in town, right? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm in BGC. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. You had a chance to work out? A little bit. A little bit. Uh, they just started um, letting us go outside and jogging. Uh, they were pretty strict here for a while, uh, up until last week. So. Yeah. Same here. Same here. Same in my place. Yeah. Yep. So. Oh, look. I, uh... I was going to say it was James Yap. Where's James? The other one. Hey, Lane, where's your, where's your son? There you go, Hello. James. James, hi, James. <laughs> hi, James. Hey, Tim. Um, just to start off with, with the discussions, Coach Tim, when you first uh, arrived in the Pure Foods franchise, um, what did you feel was needed to be able to take this team uh, back into championship caliber once again? Well, I thought the, the big difference with between coming to Pure Foods and in my early in my career coming to Alaska was uh, is that Pure Foods was an intact team. They had tremendous talent. You know, we kind of with Alaska, we kind of had to build from 
from an expansion team and we had a lot of real old team uh, and we had to get younger and, and build over a period of years. Uh, coming to Pure Food, there was, the team was intact, there was great talent and there was great expectations to win right away. And uh, I thought that was, that was the neat part about coming into Pure Foods. It was just a matter, I thought, of just trying to get guys like PJ and uh, James and, and, uh, uh, and Ping and, and to kind of get buy-in. And Kirby, Kirby at that time, Kirby, was, Kirby Ramundo was on the team at that time. Trying to get their buy-in to doing what we wanted to do, kind of change the team into a defensive type team and into a triangle team. So, uh, and, you know, we finished the first conference that we played as the number one seed, but then ran into uh, Gary David's hands, you know, his hands. And, uh, uh, but then was able to get Denzel in the second conference and, and was able to win the championship. So we, 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 we won quickly. We were fortunate. Uh, I also want to ask a question to the couple of guys who were already there before Coach Tim arrived. Uh, Coach Richard Del Rosario. Coach, kamusta yung, ano, yung change in the atmosphere in the squad after Coach uh, Tim Cohn arrived? Because, you know, they had a really good head coach handling that team <laughs> for two weeks. And things were really looking up for the Pure Foods franchise until Coach Tim Cohn came along. Well, you know, uh, even before Coach Tim came along, that team was ready to win a Grand Slam uh, <laughs> because of that. Uh, because of that, two weeks of preparation. <laughs> Getting aside, no, you know, you know, we were just uh, uh, surprised that we just, uh, uh, change that we had to make, and you know, sacrifices had to be made. It took some time, also, for the for uh, the players. You know, some of the roles nagbago, nagbago yung roles of uh, some of the players, uh, but. You know, everybody uh, bought into the into the system, and you know, it reaped the uh, benefits for for that team. What is it, uh, Coach Chard, about the uh, yung culture na dinala ni Coach Tim Cohn? Ano yung pinakamalaking uh, pagbabago from the previous uh, yung two weeks mo yung previous uh, ano na, culture ng franchise? Well, uh, the, the thing that sticks the most para sa akin, you know, is the philosophy that practice is important uh, practice is sacred i think that's the biggest change that happened to that team because prior to that uh, of course you had, you had players just you know uh missing practices or were there but weren't practicing but coach Tim bought uh, put in that uh, system that practice was sacred and every, you had to value practice it's even more important than actual games itself especially to start because you're, you're trying to teach a new system trying to get everybody uh, buying in so yeah, so I think that was one of the, the biggest things that happened. Well, talking about practice, I think Joe Devant is practicing right now. We might be disturbing him a little bit. <laughs> 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 You're trying to Mark show Baroka. Coach Tim. And we welcome to there you go. We welcome to the reunion, Mark Baroka. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Okay, okay, lang. okay lang. Kamusta kayo? Kamusta? <laughs> Bart. Hello, Bart. Kaloko, your hat was your hair. Kaloko, you was your hair. Is that good? Is that good, God? Like me. Uh. Bad haircut. <laughs> Sorry, oh. What's up, Josh? PJ, ikaw naman. Pagdating ni Coach Tim, ano yung pinaka napansin mong pagbabago sa, sa team nyo? Um, sobrang laking pagbabago. yung Una-una yung discipline. And uh, yun nga, yung practice talaga binavalue namin. And kahit na meron kang sakit, eh, kailangan mo talagang pumunta sa practice. And uh, lahat naman kami excited and lahat din kami uh, willing to buy in dun sa, sa system ni Coach Tim. And uh, good thing dun is kami lahat, willing kami lahat na, and sabay-sabay kami lahat na natuto dun sa triangle. So medyo masaya dahil pag nagkakamali yung isa, eh, alam namin na, Si Joe lang yung magaling din sa triangle at that time. So kami lahat masaya-masaya dahil pag nagkakamali, minsan nag-aasaran lang kami. <laughs> and Rafi, being one of the veterans in the squad, was it was it difficult to adjust to playing under a new system under Coach Tim? No, no, not no. at all. Not at all, um, not for Rafi. Rafi was, no. Rafi's been under so many systems, he, he, he doesn't even know the difference between them. He just goes out <laughs> right. and plays. Right. <laughs> Well, you know, being that I played under Coach Chot, which 
um, I think he was coach <laughs> Coach Tim. Um, you know, and Coach Chot introduced a triangle um, for one of the teams I played for um, with Coke. So um, when when you know Tim got to the team, it was an easy adjustment um, because you know, I knew some of the the triangle options, but um, some because there's uh, you know, a, a lot of options in the triangle. But, um, you know, I just thought there was a more, um, like, professional atmosphere when, when Coach Tim arrived and, um, and you know, practice was ran different. Um, you know, everything, the whole, the whole organization just changed. And I thought everybody bought in and you know everybody honed in and focused on defense and that's what made us uh, successful i don't know if we should ask joe something he looks busy right <laughs> no no <laughs> All right. no i'm good but I'm uh, to bring uh, to bring the squad along joe um you played an integral part just like what pj said having already not just played for Coach Tim, but having won with him already back at Alaska. Um, how, how hard was it to get everybody else on the same page with you? Um, it was a... What's up, Jeff? It was, it was a learning experience. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was... Uh, it's funny, though, because, you know, not too many people know this, but me and... There'll be times where me and uh, Coach Tim would 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 argue kind of behind the scenes oh. just because we see it on the bench as well too. Well, I, I don't want to say argue. He was really just just trying to get my thinking process differently, right? And he would he would basically just tell me control the things that I can control. So there'll be days where I was really really frustrated because I didn't like. Um, how certain things were going and and stuff like that and uh and um and honestly that was a different way for me to buy in because I bought into the system already right i mean at, since alaska so the buy in for me was totally it was a a totally different type of process and it 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 took me a long time to to buy into that, but you know, finally when I bought into it, I think that's that's when we uh, started to take off. So, but it was it was a it was rough. I was frustrated <laughs> a lot. <laughs> well, it's tough when you when you're the only one that really knows it, and everybody else is screwing up all the time. You know, it's a, it's a test process. I mean, it's it's one thing if you're all screwed up together, but if one guy you know knows what everybody's supposed to be doing and and it can get very frustrated because you can't. We always say this about the triangle: one guy screwing up, then everybody messes up, up everything. Yeah. So you know, all five guys got to be doing the right thing, and uh, it's so dependent on each other. So you know, Justin. for Joe, he was he was one guy doing one thing and four guys doing the wrong thing. So it was very frustrating for him at times. Yeah. He just had to trust it and control what he can control which was himself okay, he couldn't yeah. control his teammates that's how I think that yeah. was saying, that's exactly what the bio for me was i had to just really control my 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 thoughts and my feelings and <laughs> and stuff like that so but i mean honestly the the guys on that team all you guys that are that are here i mean that was really a special uh just a special special team everything that we accomplished and Everything that we battled through was uh, was pretty cool. What Zeke? <laughs> of course, the, the the Grand Slam was three championships, but we all know it started the year before with the Governors Cup. Uh, Coach Tim, um, what what was it about Marcus Blakely that made you decide he was the guy for the San Miguel Coffee Mixers? Well, I saw Marcus. First of all, in the in the D League, uh, in the NBA D League, and which is now the G League, um, but he was a D League at that time. I saw him in the showcase, and uh, he was a guy that was really good, but kind of like out of control, but but just super athletic. And uh, 
um, I think that the, the height when, when I was trying to recruit was 6'4", if I remember correctly. And we were trying to recruit at 6'4", and we didn't think he would make it, even though he was listed 6'5", because most of the imports, you know, they list at 6'5", they come in at 6'3 and a half, 6'4". But one thing I said about, I always told Marcos, you're the only import I've ever recruited that said he was 6'5", and he was exactly 6'5". He was, you know, he was 6'4", and I think uh, 14, uh, 13 over, over 16. I mean, he would ride at 6'5". So I couldn't get him the first time, uh, even though we wanted him the first time. I couldn't get him because the, the import was 6'4", not 6'5". And uh, so when it became 6'5", uh, we were able to call him and bring him in. And it was what Marcus brought to us was just great versatility, uh, both defensively and offensively. And uh, uh, if you remember that team, I mean, PJ, basically, if PJ played, if you, if you gave us positions, PJ would have played the point guard position, but he never really played point, but that was his, his position. James was really the off guard. And then Marcus was like the uh, small forward, and then Joe would be the power forward, and then Ping would be the, uh, the, the, the center. And then Rafi would go into that, and Mark would, would come off the bench. Alex would, would, would be an initiator. Um, but that was the, the five guys that oftentimes started the game. So Marcus gave us that, ver that great versatility. He could play all five positions, um, and then Ping could defend all five positions. And then Joe was our primary ball handler. So even though PJ was our point guard, he didn't have to handle the ball. It was Joe, Joe, <laughs> was, uh, Joe handled the ball. Um, and yet Joe played defense on a big guy. Remember that Joe? You'd play on a big, but yet you'd be our point guard on offense. He played center defensively and then played point guard offensively. And then Ping would guard the point guard and PJ would guard the two guard. Remember PJ, you would guard the two guard. And then James yes, would guard the three. And then uh, Marcus would guard the four or five or three or whatever he needed to do it. So it was that great versatility that, that Marcus brought to us that, that was, I mean, he was not a great scorer. Um, he was definitely not a great shooter, but man, uh, he did everything else. And that's what I saw in him in the D league. Someone, especially I thought that would be great for our team because we didn't need a score, not with a guy like PJ and James and, and I know all those guys we had on our team, we didn't need scores. We needed a guy who was going to defend, rebound, run the break, and, and be a tough guy for us. And Marcus was a tough guy. Yeah. Can I go? Now, uh, I have a question for Elaine. Elaine, yung pagdating mo sa, sa San Miguel Coffee, of course, um, you won a lot with them. But what was, what was it like joining that team? Um... Nung nakuha ko dun sa San Mig, sobrang ano, um, parang medyo pressured kasi they're already a proven team and also complete team na yun eh. When I, when I joined them, sobrang kompleto na sila. So when I, when I got there, um, coach team talked to me and parang he really um, uh, told me uh, na parang I need to parang just play my game and... Um, Parang ang naging role ko is um, uh, come off the bench, maging, um, um, maging energy and spark provider ng team. You were coming off an Elaine. ACL injury, right, uh, Elaine, at the time? Yeah. Yes, Coach. Only when we traded for you? So he um, was coming off a major injury, his second one, right? It was your second ACL? Um, when, when, when you first got me there, um, I'm already uh, playing okay na. Then... During my first uh, six games, I was oh. um, playing well. Then I got injured during the playoffs. Right. And then you were out for a long time again. Yeah, two conferences. So, yeah, it was, it was the, the battle with Elaine was just trying to keep him healthy in the lineup. Because, again, you know, you're, you come into the triangle, and he had to come into the triangle with guys who were playing it at a pretty high level by that time. And then, you know, he starts to learn it. He starts to get comfortable. Then, bang, he's injured again. Now he's starting from, from zero. And then by the time he comes back, we've already evolved the triangle to a higher level, and it's hard to get back into it again. So it was a real struggle for Elaine trying to, to, 
to catch up with everybody all the time. And I always felt really bad for him because um, we just didn't have enough time to really slow everybody down for him to catch up. But coach, uh, of all your squads, everybody always talks about the triangle. No, nobody really pays attention to the kind of defense you've been playing throughout the years. With this team, with guys like you know, PJ, James, and even Elaine, more known for their scoring, how, what kind of you, – you talked about how you evolved the triangle with the squad. How about the defense that you guys play? Um, how did you bring everybody else along, Coach? Well, I, thought, I thought we had great commitment to defense. I, you know, and I've always said this about you know, that team specifically. That team was you – know, they, they talked a lot about the triangle, but more than anything else, it was a tremendous defensive team. Um, we were, we were, we were great and we were versatile. We would start with those five guys I mentioned and then Justin and Mark and, and Alex would come off the bench and we completely changed the defensive tempo. They'd get out and get on people's faces and, you know, get into their shorts and, and, and Alex, uh, uh, Alex with his great length and then Justin and Mark with their great quickness and physicality. It was a, it was such a big change from the first group. And uh, it really caught teams uh, totally on balance. And that was really a, the secret to our success. It wasn't really the triangle uh, as much as it was uh, the versatility on defense and then the, the second group coming out and really changing the defensive, defensive tempo. And uh, I think that was a very, very underrated part uh, of our game. And a lot of that, believe it or not, was – the guy on my bottom of my screen, Richard. Richard was the idea of the I, you know, if Justin and Mark and Alex, you guys want to know why you're coming off the bench? It's Richard's fault. It was his <laughs> idea to change tempo, come in with a different defense and change tempo all the time. So don't get mad at me. Blame Richard. It was his idea. And you guys did it so well that, you know, we lived with that. And, and that was a difference maker for us. Because I've, I've had a six-year grudge. <laughs> of course, on me now, now you can throw that six-year yeah, grudge on, on, on Richard <laughs> Justin and Alex uh, you were the fresh additions to the squad heading into the 2014 season Alex um, uh, we all know that you were drafted high selected high by the San Miguel beer franchise but landing with with a pure food squad with the San Miguel coffee mixers what changed for you D did you feel that you had a different role that you had to play for, for the mixers um, well, I didn't even really have a role in uh, Patron. I was, what, the last man on the bench. I didn't – I was naive, to be honest, coming into the PBA. So, like, even – I don't know if you remember that Patron team, but they were stacked. And, but they were loaded. I didn't, I didn't know, loaded. I didn't know who anybody was, like, to be honest. Even – I was already in the D League for a year. I, I still didn't know. So, like um, – but, like, slowly I, I know – I knew who they were. But um, – and then when I went to Sam Mig. Same thing. I was just, I was, I was still trying to prove myself. Came with an open mind and, and still didn't really know who anybody was. So I was just, um, I was just trying to, trying to prove my spot, trying to earn my spot. And, um, and, and, man, it's, uh, it was fun. How about you, Justin? Joining this San Miguel Coffee team as, as a rookie. Uh, was it what you expected it to be playing in the pros here in the Philippines? Um, honestly, coming in, I had no real expectations. Um, I was surprised I even got drafted, really, because prior to draft, uh, I didn't really practice with teams. I didn't do any, you know, my name wasn't kind of out there, but. Um, you did come to on one to workout with us, though, Justin. Remember, you came to one workout with us. And that yes, was our, remember Richard, we, we, we really turned on to Justin uh, on that, yeah. during that workout. And, and it was short. I think you were only there for like 30 minutes or something like that. But yes, you, you showed some incredible speed and talent at that time. Yes, sir. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt yeah. you. No, it's all good. Yeah, but uh, uh, coming on to the team, it was a – a tough transition because kind of like Elaine and Alex are said, like the team was established already and also not knowing anybody and not knowing the style of play, like in the Philippines, like it was a rough transition because, you know, you, you want to be out there on the floor, but then 
the guys who's already out there, it's they've earned that spot already. So, you know, it's finding that balance of um, trying to prove yourself, but also um, having respect and, you know, for the players that's been doing it uh, way before you. Um, another thing that made it hard was I broke my finger the first game. So. My um, the my first game my rookie year, I broke my finger. So like, what was that mean? Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah. you're there. Oh yeah. No. You can hear me, okay? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Broke yes. your finger. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I broke my finger first game of my my rookie year. So uh, you know, not being able to be on the court and learning the triangle as hard as it is. Um, that that kind of made it rough also but the team was always very welcoming uh, everybody was everybody was cool with everybody so that part was just it was as smooth as it can get so. yeah we had some we had some real underrated chemistry on that team and I think that's one of the reasons we were able to win big games all the time when we our backs were to the wall our chemistry came together and one of the big leaders in that was uh was was Rafi. Rafi was uh, really strong in, 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 in making sure our chemistry stayed where it was all the time. All, all throughout that run for all three conferences of the Grand Slam, you guys always just managed to squeeze into the playoffs, be in the middle of the pack, be in those best of threes, not, not clinching any twice to beat advantages or anything. Was that all part of the grand scheme of just pacing yourselves? Because you guys just turned on the switch when it got playoff time. It didn't matter who guys were, who you guys were playing. Or was it frustrating having to go through all of that instead of being on top? <laughs> <laughs> um, were you asking me? If you're asking me, I, yes, I'm, I'm just going to try to remind everybody. I think we played four conferences. Those four conferences were played in – a very short time and we had no breaks between conferences i mean we really literally went like we you guys remember we it's like we had three days off four days off and we started again and uh we started every conference slow because we were you know kind of battling that championship hangover every time and uh it took us a while to get our, our sea legs going and and we were able to get back into it during uh um uh, during, during during about the right towards the end of the eliminations, we started to start playing well all the time, and I thought that uh, you know it was just it it wasn't something we were designing, but it was something necessary that we had to go through uh, conference to conference to get to where we were, and I think we were I we were nine and zero oh in knockout games during that Grand Slam year. We were we won nine nine games. I mean, any one of those games we lost, we don't win the game. We don't win the Grand Slam, but we won all nine of our knockout games, which is, to me, an incredible tribute to the to the chemistry and, and the perseverance of, of these guys. Amazing. And the and the first four of those coach team came in that uh, in the Philippine Cup. You had a bad start to that campaign. You had to win your last four games just to get into the playoffs, and then eventually. You take down TNT with Mark Barocca as uh, the finals MVP. What's your favorite moment, memory of that uh, Philippine Cup? I just said, Top Context was undefeated or something like that all the way yeah. through. <laughs> and then we stole it from him. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> I think that was, that was Rain or Shine um, coach in the Philippine Cup. Oh, uh, Rain or Shine, yeah, yeah. That was Rain or Shine. Okay, Top Context was the next conference. Yep. Where they went undefeated, second conference. They went undefeated. And all the way to the to the – to the finals and then we beat them in the game one of the finals i believe it was and then uh we beat them i don't know three games to one or something like that best of five or best of seven i can't remember yeah it was best of five it was best of five, five. yeah well we were battling rain or shine a lot during that uh, grand slam year uh we seemed like we were playing them all the time and uh um we really got to know them well and i think the more you played rain or shine back then the more you the better you played against them, the, the less intimidated you get, you got by them because you were kind of used to their their physicality after a while. So the fact that we did play them a lot was kind of to our advantage, I think. They were a great team. What what I remember from that final series was actually a shootout between Mark Barroca and 
and Bo Belga. I think one of one of those latter games. Mark, that that turned out to be your coming out party, no? Yun yung pinakamagandang perform one of your best performances in the finals. Um, can you can you walk us through kung ano yung nangyari doon sa Philippine Cup finals na yun? But ang taas ng kumpiyansa mo. Siguro uh, yung time na kasi parang struggle ako noon eh. Throughout the from semifinals, quarterfinals, tapos nung time na parang nung time na naalala ko parang si PJ yung magandang laro noon eh. Si, yung series na yun eh. Consistent si PJ noon. Tapos nung time lang nung game parang game 6, yun nga parang parang pan sila lahat eh. Parang off lahat eh. So parang hindi walang pupuntahan yung bawat isa. So ako, sa role player pa naman ako nun eh. Naghihintay lang naman ako yung chance ko. Siguro yung time na yun, nung time na parang dinless na ako ni Lord na binigyan ako ng chance na ma-prove ko rin sarili ko na, na gumanda yung laro ko. Yung time lang siguro. So yung time na parang hindi ko nga alam eh. Kinukuha ko na pala yung bola kala James. <laughs> 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 eh, parang wala na ako. Wala na akong parang nagiging parang yung mentality ko para naging scorer na din eh. So yun siguro yun lang yung time. So dun dun na parang na ko yung sarili ko na siguro meron din akong part sa team namin. Kaya nanalo kami dun. So yun na bless. Nagka na champion kami. Tapos nakuha ko yung finals MVP. Yun yan. Yun yung parang tumas yung moral ko ng basketball. Was that the game you became coffee prince? No. Hot dog oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my, my, my. <laughs> uh, Rafi, I have a question for Rafi. Um, Coach Tim Cohn already said that uh, Marcus plugged in a lot of holes defensively for you because he could guard the one to the five position. Uh, how difficult was it to adjust for you in terms of just playing, you know, defense in, in that Philippine Cup with with no import to help you out? Not at all. <laughs> I love defense. Like um, that, I, I never have a hard time adjusting um, when it comes to that aspect of the game. Um, although, I mean, you know, coach would have us. Uh, we did a lot of switching then, um, and that was fun. I, it was challenging. It was fun, um, and it worked. Um, so I just say it was, it was just fun. It was um, it was a challenge. It was fun when it came to the switching, uh, but um, adjusting. I don't think I had to adjust so much. So we welcome to the broadcast, Mark Pingris. Hi, sir. Speaking of defense, speaking <laughs> of defense, <laughs> hey Ping. Uh, hi, coach. How are you? I work out that way. Sorry. Uh, uh, you just put that in your background. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I'm late. Thank you, Rina, Ma'am Rin. Thank you so much. The next one. Thank you. Mark, na tanong na namin lahat kanina. Um, when, when Coach Tim Cohn joined, what was the experience like? Kumusta yung adjustments learning the triangle system for you? Oh, first week, sobrang hirap. Um, Hindi ko maintindihan. Uh, Coach Tim know this na talagang hindi ko maintindihan triangle. And he promised naman na um, basta gawin lang namin yung pinapagawa niya and then kami naman yung mag harvest sa huli. So, sobrang hirap. But nung nakuha namin na yung rhythm namin, nakuha na namin yung timing namin, sobrang dali. Sobrang um, alam namin kung ano yung ginagawa namin sa isa't isa. Alam mo kung sino yung re-rebound. Timing lahat. Parang ganun. So, madali sa, ay, mahirap sa umpisa, madali sa, ano, sa huli. So, sobrang sarap balikan ng triangle. Ako? <laughs> so, tinitignan ko dito yung mga nakatutok sa atin live ngayon on Facebook, ah. Ma malipat lang tayo mula sa pagkwento commercial lang muna si Era Maka Makinano ka si pinapatanong ask ko lang kay coach Tim and coach Chard kamusta naman po si Mang June at Mang Maning how do would you describe them alalo ikaw Chard paborito mo si Ning Ma apat apat mo yun di ba Chard o oh, naman no si uh, Maning tsaka si uh, Boy Sukat yeah. si, uh, 
on June, you know, talagang ano, I mean, they're a big part ng uh, mm-hmm. ng success of the, of the team. You know? uh, lalo na yan, sila, siyempre sila maning, nagmamasahin ng mga player yan, binibitbit ng mga player po saan-saan after practice. No, tsaka lahat kailangan serbisyohan yan. Tapos sila, sila bang June yan, siya rin ang bibili ng mga merienda, lahat ng mga players. So, lagi hinahanap yan, pinapagalitan lang kasi ang daming bi- binibiling pagkain niya, eh, merienda yan ng mga players <laughs> every morning. So, ano, malaking bagay, malaking bagay sila. Kaya nga, napamahal rin sila doon sa mga fans rin eh, ng San Miguel Coffee at that time. No? Kasi talagang meron sila sarili personality. Tsaka, you know, nakikita sila ng mga fans doon sa sa pagka nakakahalubilo nila yung mga players. So, ang malaking bagay yung dalawang yun. Hindi lang sila, lahat ng ano, lahat ng support staff ng uh, na San Mig. Si Boy Sukat, of course, nagkaroon sila ng moment ni Mark <laughs> Ping Riz in that uh, one really hard-fought game na kala ko atakin sa puso. I thought you were gonna have a heart attack, Coach Tim Cohn, because of that <laughs> technical foul back then. It's a crucial game. <laughs> yeah, it was a crucial game. And, you know, I think, you know, at the moment, you're trying to get mad at it, but you realize that you know, one of the great things about our staff is that they were they were into every play. They were into every moment, and uh, I, I think it takes a staff like that to to do what we were able to do. And and you know, it's it's again at the moment it's 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 upsetting, but it's it's totally forgivable. You know, when it's all said and done, whether we had won or lost, I think we won that game, so it would made it easier. But whether we won or lost, um, you know, like I said, they're just showing their their love for the team and, and their, how intense how intent they are in the game. So you kind of forgive it and let it go. May I told story, Jane. Eh. May I told story. Uh, Magu, okay, boy, Sukat. No, when that game happened, so of course, oh. halftime, you know, he was sent. To, actually, hindi dapat siya nasa bench nun eh, but uh, may nag-CR lang na isang uh, uh, utility staff. So siya pumalit. Kasi siya tagabantay ng dog out. Eh. But so at that time, ah. at that point, siya yung nandun. <laughs> So, uh, nung nangyari yun, with that happening, He made it count, so, huh? Yeah, yeah, so, and then, he was sent back to the dugout. He already wrote his resignation letter. Apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> he, wrote, he wrote a resignation letter. And he was praying this, huh? that we would win. <laughs> Buti na lang, we won. We won that game. Buti na lang, we won that game. So, I know, he kept his job. <laughs> Ping, so, para, lang, para lang malinaw, nakatapak ka ba talaga sa line or tama no. yung sukat niya? No, no, hindi ako nakatapak. Hindi ko tinanggal yun pa ako, promise. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya siguro, nung kinausap See, ko si Jun that time, kinausap ko si Jun that time, ang sabi niya, nabigla ako kasi tama ka eh. Well, Kaya tum- tumalun agad siya. Parang yung story sa akin, sabi niya, Ping, sorry dahil nabigla ako. Ah, nakita ko talaga na hindi ka rin nakakapak eh. So... Eh, it's okay. Part of the, ano, di ba? The game. Uh, hindi ka mag-sorry dapat tayo. Mag-sorry ka ngay, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, Ping, si Maning naman, gano'n ka-inspiring na every time bababa kayo sa court, makikita mo nakatayo yun, sigaw na sigaw ng defense, gumaganong ganun yung kamay. Parang literally so, sixth man on defense nyo siya, di ba? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Kumbaga, you know what? Uh, nagbibigay din ng energy si Tixing. Sobrang um, grabe rin yung mga, ito yung mga uh, ball boy namin. Lahat naman sila karamihan. Um, minsan niluloko namin siya kaya natatalo tayo dahil hindi ka uh, nag-defense. So ang, alam mo ang sagot niya sa akin, pinagalitan daw siya ni Commissioner habang gumagalitan. <laughs> Sabihan daw siya kasi parang player daw. So, yun know, nakakatuwa. Nakakatuwa sila. Uh, kahit minsan Eh, hindi naman natin masabi, no? Sometimes down ka sa laro, pero pag nakikita mo siya, parang mapapalaban ka rin. Ma'am Rins, you were there from the start with the squad. Um, when did you feel na, et, teka, tumataas na yung kumpiyansa. This team is turning out to be something very, very special. When did you notice that? Hindi. Hindi ko na siya na-notice. Parang... For me, it all, parang yung process na kasi parang natural na yung nangyayari natin. So, nararamdaman yung gano'n yung nakakaroon na sila ng kumpiyansa or ito, nararatsada na. Pero iba yung feeling. Iba kapag talagang more than 
or yun yung nabisita every every game time pero na sa mga general level ito na Hello, Peter. Hello. 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 Is this the series where uh, we won it in Ultra? Yes, that's yeah. correct. Oh yeah, yeah, and, and, that was uh, <laughs> that was crazy. just your run, <laughs> and just your run into the playoffs. You came in at four and five as the sixth seed. You go to distance with Alaska. You win two one. You go to distance with Air Twenty One three two, and then you run into a team that was undefeated in that finals, and you took game one. Yeah. Well, um. And to be honest, I don't uh, – like we were talking about earlier, you know, we always struggled at the start of the conference and <clears throat> and we picked it up uh, towards the end. And it was just one of those things where I remember me and Rafi always saying, like, going into the playoffs, we're like, oh, shoot, man, we in trouble. We in trouble. <laughs> you know, and even, even with Melton, right, like, oh, man, we in trouble. We in trouble. And then <laughs> – <laughs> and this was every this was every series, every conference, you know, and for whatever reason, when when it was time to go, we just showed we showed up. So it was no difference against against talking text. You know, it was like, oh shoot, man, we in trouble. And then we got that game one, I think, and then after that, it was like, oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to that series saying that, you know, if we could just get game one, because they had no, you know, really any problems, the whole conference. And if we could get that game one, then we could show them some adversity and make them uncomfortable. And they really got to see how they are. Yeah. Yeah. So when we won that game one, they were so shocked by it. They didn't know how to recover. They hadn't lost the whole conference. So. Um, I thought that was the key was we had to get that game one. We had to get that game one and, and we really showed up in that game one. PJ, uh, they had the best player of the conference in, in uh, Jason Castro. Sa kanila rin yung best import of the conference, Richard Howell. Kayo naman, kumusta yung kumpiyansa nyo heading into that finals matchup against, against TNT? Um, yun nga, um, yung nakuha namin yung game one nung time na yun, siyempre malaking bagay yun sa kumpiyansa namin dahil siyempre naniniwala kami na kaya namin sila. And uh, yun, pang going for our three finals na yun eh. So parang sobrang kumpiyansa kami sa isa't isa na pagdating sa series, talagang parang <laughs> parang feeling namin kaya namin manalo talaga kahit sino yung kalaban yun ng time na yun. Kasi sobrang solid na samahan yung chemistry. And parang yung nagko-contribute talaga sa amin, hindi lang dalawa eh. Kumbaga, minsan yung nag-double figure minsan, mga pito kami or walo. So, lahat talaga nagko-contribute. Hello? That was one thing about PJ, man. PJ didn't fear anybody. I, I never <laughs> saw PJ ever fear a team. He just came out and just played. And it didn't matter who was in front of him. He was going to play his game no matter what. And that was uh, one of the things I thought that was key for us in terms of our confidence. PJ would show up every game. And... Uh, um, there were times when he was just really our most unstoppable player all the time. <laughs> Thanks, Kurt. Of course, so you, you know, go on I, and, I, I lie a lot uh, and you. then you end up going on. <laughs> yeah, no, you go on and beat TNT um, 3-1. Third consecutive championship, but just the second piece in your Grand Slam. Yung fatigue ba, Coach Chard and Coach Tim, were you worried about how tired this team was, the number of games? And back in those days, as Coach Tim already mentioned, you didn't get the extra two weeks, extra three weeks that champions now get, or in the recent past of the PBA, that you get an extra two weeks or three weeks after a finals or a championship. How about that fatigue factor heading into the next conference? Uh, yeah, as the season went on, yeah, talagang, uh, it would be a, a concern, but we weren't really that worried because 
um, winning takes away all the fatigue. Eh. Whenever you win championships, it, it takes away all the fatigue and you want to just get start again. Uh, I remember, uh, again, we won the championship on a Friday and then we had to play uh, our first game of the next conference on a Wednesday. So we only had a weekend off, uh, Saturday and Sunday, and then practice on the Monday. But again, uh, because we had the players, you know, they knew their roles. Um, start of the season, we would really depend on the imports to carry us. See the James Mays, you know, see the Marcos. And even while, as I mentioned na natin before, even while uh, the conference was ongoing and we were in the finals, our second group and third group would already be practicing with the import that was already here. So, I mean, it was really, I know, a lot of sacrifice for, for everybody. And uh, as much as we relied on the first unit, the second unit, namin, you know, when it came to Melt, sila Rafi, sila Alex, you know, those minutes that they gave, gave uh, 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 to that effort um, to, to win all those championships, I, I felt was crucial for us to be able to sustain your run as long as it lasted. Alex, um, did you Tinapos feel... Tinapos niyo yung elimination oh, round. Hmm. May, uh, tinapos niyo elimination round, 5-4, one game improvement from the previous one. Pero this time around, may twice to beat kayo. As the four seed twice to be Kena San Miguel, you cruise past them 97 90. And then you met TNT again in the next round. This one going the distance. Yung familiarity coach Tim was talking about how you how much you guys played rain or shine in that run. You were also playing TNT in that run, and they were still pretty good at that time. Yung familiarity with TNT ba sumi parin dun sa series na yun? Chard? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I think uh, every time, especially when our backs were against the ball, uh, uh, the wall, uh, yung uh, mga do or die games, uh, because of the experience that we had uh, and all the adversity, um, a lot of times also, I mean, some mga series, no, we would like in the best of three series, we would lose game one. So we had that twice to, to uh, win this advantage, na, but we would still pull it off. And yung mga players, once they get their yung focus, nila, I mean, that. Uh, you know, it's a do-or-die game. You know, they just pull for each other. Uh, ang maganda rin kasi sa team na yan, um, they weren't uh, afraid or shy to call each other out. Pagka halimbawa, may nakikita silang uh, one, one guy would be, you know, uh, playing relaxed, masyado, you know, because they were so close. Uh, pwede na sabihin yung isa't isa eh. And then when one guy was struggling, you know, one guy would pull him and then uh, tulungan siya sa practice pa lang. So, I mean, those things, I think, contributed, uh, especially those in those tough series against uh, TNT, against Rainer Shine. And I, and I felt, you know, even sa dugout namin nun, you know, hindi naman sa pag but you already had a feeling na, you know, may, may confidence eh, um, uh, that you would really win that particular game, even though it was a do-or-die game. That, I mean, everybody was just in a different level, uh, so to speak. And I think other teams, whether they would admit it or not, I feel talagang going into mga especially do or die games, meron ng doubt sa mind nila na matatalo nila yung, yung, team, yung team na yun. Eh. Um, and I, I, that really made that team very special. Um, kung hindi ako nagkakamali si Ping yung captain nyo that year, was it Ikaw ba yung in charge like what Coach uh, Richard was saying na you have to call people out or was it all the veterans like Sina Rafi and all that? Kayo ba yung in charge na magpulis sa team nyo? Ping? Ah, I mean, uh, lahat naman kami, hindi Joe. Na, si Rafi and me, pero kasi ang sinabi kasi ni Coach sa amin, lahat naman kasi kami sa, sa team pwedeng maging leader sa, sa loob eh. So, alam namin yun ano, alam namin gampanan yun mga ano namin, uh, papel namin. So lahat naman kami nakikinig sa isa't isa. And then pag may tinawag si Rafi or ako or yung iba, kahit sila Mark, ang maganda sa, sa team talaga is willing kaming makinig sa isa't isa. Yun, yun yung sikreto talaga. Kasi yun ang, yun ang sinasabi ni Coach eh. Na, um, lahat kayo pantay-pantay, lahat kayo leader sa team. So yun. May kwento rin ako yung Kay Ping, no? Na, na kwento ko na rin before. 
uh, si James there was a time na really was struggling with his shooting talagang nasa slump <coughs> si si James talagang uh, and yung fans talagang tinitira na si James na laos na raw or whatever and then si Ping sinabi si James sarap punta ka sa practice maaga bukas mag extra shooting ka lang ikaw lang tumira na tumira ako taga rebound lang para sa iyo so si Ping nandun lang kung si shooting si James ay magre-rebound o babalik ng bola kay kay ano so yun i mean those are mga things na ginagawa nila at taga rebound to si Ping tapos yun si James hangga sa nakuha niya ulit yung kumpiyansa niya iba rin syempre pag yung teammate mo mismo iba yung bosses ng coach iba yung bosses ng teammate eh na you know sa yung magpo-push sa iyo eh tama 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 um kasi kami lang yung magtutulungan eh like um yung ginagawa namin ni ni Joe Divans we play uh, one on one pag maaga kami so nakakatulong yun eh nakakatulong sa sa team we, we play ano kumbaga one on one defense talaga so pampa ano yun kumbaga confident din sa ano sa, sa sarili mo So nung nakita ko si James na sobrang down, katulad nga na sinabi ni coach, uh, tinutulungan ko. Ano Kahit naman sino sana yung nagtutulungan kami. Uh, Alex, um, Coach Richard already said that the bench, uh, the second unit, even the third unit, is very important to your success. Uh, did you feel that in the early parts of the elimination round, you had a bigger responsibility, a bigger role to the, to the squad with, with James and PJ? And, and your main guys, you know, start things slow at the start of the conference. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, we we the, the job of the second unit, right, is to like not give up the lead. And I think coach really instilled that into us really in uh, early. Um, I mean, it's, it should already be something like in your mind already, but like you really harped on it. And um, I think me, Justin, the second unit just bought into it. Um, we played off each other really well, which also helped. I think we just had a natural, um, maybe not natural, probably maybe it took a little bit first to get to know each other and our tendencies. But like, I think I, for me, I thought we picked it up pretty good. And that's what made us, made us dangerous. But yeah, like any, I swear, like any time, we would give up the lead sometimes. And every time we gave up the lead, I'm like, Yeah, we're, we're about to hear from it from coach. Uh, we got to pick it up. Uh, so that's, that's how that went for me. But it seemed like you had good chemistry with, with Justin Melton because you had one of the best you know, highlights of that entire run. Can you, exactly. can you walk us through that, Justin? That, that one play that shocked everyone? Oh, you're talking about that dunk, the alley-oop, bro? Yep, yep, from, uh, from Alex. <laughs> First of all, he yeah. does that shit in practice all the time. I'll... I wasn't surprised at all. Yeah, because me and Alex, we'd always talk about it. And uh, I said, anytime the opportunity presents itself, man, just throw it up. And uh, I think it was maybe like 30 seconds left on the clock. Uh, and, yeah, he pushed – I think Mark gave him a pass – or J.R. Kowaling, I think it was. Kowaling. J.R. gave – yeah, Kowaling gave Alex the pass, and Alex just kind of threw it up there and – Yeah, it's a nice yeah, feeling, think, man. It's cool. I don't think there was quotient back then, so and we were up by like 20. So I think we probably like stuck it to Patron pretty good. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say sorry six years after. I think sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was there was more than one though with with Justin when Mark and Alex and Justin played. You know they were. They were three point guards together, so they were they were they were pressure guys in the back court. They were all ball handlers, and uh, um, they were a lot of fun to watch those three guys play together. The energy that they came with, and the tenacity that they came with, uh, they blended. The three of them blended really, really well. It didn't matter whether Rafi was on the court or Bing or Joe or whoever was playing the big man with them, but those three guys together. Uh, they they changed literally changed the game every time they came out on the floor. And again, I got to give Richard the credit. He was the one that kept saying, you know, let's develop that team, that that second group to come out and be a different type. Because PJ and James, sorry PJ, but PJ and James were not going to be pressure fires. You know, they weren't going to get out there <laughs> and spend their time pressuring in the back court, you know, doing that kind of stuff. That wasn't in their their DNA. But for Alex and and Mark and and uh, 
Uh, yeah. And Justin, those guys came out and just changed the game totally and gave us a completely different look uh, through the whole second quarter that we had from the first quarter. True. And it was really hard, to, really hard for teams to, to adjust. It was really hard for teams to adjust. It's hard when you're hungry. It's like people had to match our energy, man. We were just hungry. There's no other way to put it. You guys want to play. Yep. You guys want yes. the playing time. Yes. And you knew it was your time. So you were you were pumped and ready to go. Coach Tim, just going quickly back to that TNT series, you posted your guards a lot against against their guards, and it was it was very effective in that in that championship run. What, what made you decide to go to that route, Coach? Well, I think that, uh, again, that, that first group that we had, uh, uh, PJ was being guarded by the point guard, whoever the point guard was all the time. And, and so it was really an intent to get PJ down the post. Po PJ could post anybody uh, down there at the block. And uh, that was one part of the game, I think, that was really underrated about PJ. Uh, everybody talks about his, you know, his drives and his pull-ups and his one-handed floaters and stuff like that. But I thought the strongest part of P.J.'s offense was his post-up. And because he was, like I said, the point guard in our lineup, uh, we defined our guys mostly by who guarded us. So the point guard always guarded P.J. because they didn't want to put him on James because uh, he was usually too small. And James was never a ball handler. And they couldn't put him on Joe or Ping or, or Marcus. So the point guard always had to go to, to PJ. So that was one of our biggest weapons, I thought, uh, throughout the whole Grand Slam. And I think that we went to an extra in that talk and tech series because it was such a, a huge advantage for us. And if they put the, the point guard, and it, what happened is that they got tired of PJ beating him up. So they said, let's put him on James. So then, you know, James would go down there and post him up. And the other great post-up player we had was probably a, a, next to PJ, our best post-up player, big, smalls, anybody. Was Mark Wodoka. Mark was a <laughs> tremendous post up player. He loved to get down there in the block and, yes. and pound the little point guards. Uh, Mark, um, how, how does it feel? Yung ganong klasing kompiansa yung coach mo bibigay sa yung bola at the post. Gano ko importante yun sa yun? Siempre, uh, as a player, di ba, earn mo yung spot na yun. Eh. Kasi, sabi nga nila, di ba, yung mga sila Justice, sila Alex. Yung bago sila pumunta sila, Alain, na sabi na na loaded na yung team eh. May mga pangalan na eh. So, i-earn mo yung spot na yun na parang gusto ko, papunta ko dito sa sa spot na to. Gusto ko kumuha ng score. Kasi nga, yun yung parang advantage nga sabi ko sa triangle. So, yun, na, yun yung natutunan sa triangle eh. Anybody makakapost up sa baba eh. Kung may mga mismatch, pwede kang sumil doon kasi open na open. One on one kayo doon. Kasi sobrang yung spacing nung bawat isa, sobrang gan, sobrang laki ng space na parang ang hirap dumobol pag nandun ka na sa baba. So yun yung time na parang yun, nagpa-practice ako kasi struggle ako nung una, nung triangle eh. Sabi sa, so tinuturuan ako dati eh, alam ko pa dati, tinuturuan ako ng Coach Jeff, tapos si Coach Johnny, lagi, nirimind ako lagi na, eto, pwede ka dito mag-post pag may mismatch ka. Laging pinupost na ako doon. Eh. So, nung time na siguro, nung, nung uh, second year ko na, so, minsan, si Ping, lagi akong nilo. Lagi akong nilo ko eh. Tatanggal mo pa ako ng trabaho. Eh. <laughs> Tatanggal mo pa ako ng trabaho na mag-post up ka. Dapat doon sa labas. So, yung time na parang nakukuha ko yung confidence doon. Na, lagi nga, sabi ni Ping, one on one. Sa practice, kami na Justin, Alex, ganun, one-on-one -on -one kami before mag-practice. Minsan nga si Coach Tim, pinapagalitan na nga kami, tinatago yung bola. Kasi sobra na kami, before and after, <laughs> one-on-one pa rin. <laughs> Napatago ni Coach Tim, pinapauwi na kami. Sobra na namin, sobra excited na na bawat isang maglaro. Kasi nga, di ba, yung run namin ng guns lang, yung we, forfeit. We had a great post-up player that was really reluctant to post up. And I, I think the biggest battles I had were with, with him trying to get him to post up and go to work all the time. And and he it just it was he was so reluctant to do it. And that was of course Ping. He and I you remember Ping how many times I yelled at you? That, you know, Ping, you gotta take it, do it, take it, go, go for it. And because uh, he was such a reluctant post up player. He was so great there, but he was really reluctant. But he was also a great passer. So he ended up passing out most of the time. 
But the same thing went with Joe. Joe also was a great passer from the post, and we had to beg Joe to get down in there and, and, and score in the post as well. But we never had to beg PJ. We never had to beg uh, Mark. Uh, our little guys, they love to get down in there. And that's what the triangle called for. The triangle gave you the opportunity to post your point guards or post any guard. And that's why, you know, Michael Jordan and Kobe would go to the post all the time in the, in the triangle. And eventually Alex would post down in there and, and Elaine would do a lot of post up uh, later on. And, uh, um, but we always, we were always posting up our guards. That's just part of the triangle offense. Speaking of posting up, Coach, uh, one of the best, probably the, arguably the best to ever do it, Cap Alvin Patrimonio. Oh, we just lost him again, yep, too. He, he just joined, joined us. us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hopefully, he could be back in a minute. Looks like he was driving, though. Um, how big of a help was it to have somebody like Captain Lionheart as your team manager, Coach? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> you will not meet a nicer person than Alvin Patrimonio. I mean, he is, you know, when I, when, before I came to Pure Foods, I used to think that he was so fake. <laughs> I, really did. I go, nobody, nobody can be that nice. Nobody. I mean, he has to be fake. And then when I got there, I realized it was pure genuine. And I just, uh, just amazed me uh, about Cap, you know, being a four-time MVP and, and, and being so humble and, and so nice and, uh, he's an incredible guy. And uh, is he on yet? Not no, yet. good. So I, I can still talk about him now. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, he, he, was, he, was really, he was really special in terms of just being a, a really great guy. I kept telling him that, that I needed him to coach our guys more. You know, he was the best player. You know, between him and Juan Fernandez, I think they were the two best players. And, of course, June Marnell were the two best players probably ever played in the PBA. And we had that, you know, and he was – Probably I mean, right up there with Jumar is the best post-up player of all time. You guys didn't get a chance to see him play as much, but man, he was unbelievable in the post, Alvin Patrimonio. And so I was always begging him to go and get some guys and work with them, uh, you know, at the post. But he was very reluctant because he didn't think that was his role. He didn't want to step on the toes of his uh, of his fellow of his assistant coaches. But he was a great guy to have around. Super, super. Well, on my album. Right, Rita? Yes. <laughs> she knows him better than anybody. She worked with him every day. Yeah. When you walk, when you work with Cap, kasi parang, it's always easy because madali siyang i-approach. He doesn't have that parang superiority complex because he's the captain. It's so easy to talk to, kasi. How about how about Coach Richard? Um, how how was it working with your fellow assistant coaches? That was a loaded, you know, squad as well from <laughs> Coach Johnny A, Coach Olsen, uh, Coach Jeffrey Carriaso. How how good did that team work? Jay Webb, with Coach Jim. yeah, with Coach Jason as well. Right. Yeah, si, si Jason came in uh, uh, late during the no, 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 so Grand Slam. But, you know, your initial cast. Yeah, third conference. Out of, uh, out, yeah, out of place ako eh. Because you all had uh, mga future Hall of Famers. Eh, di ba? Like Johnny A, Jeff Carriaso, you know. And of course, si Joseph and John. Olsen Rasel. Uh, grabe, di ba? Di ba lineup na yun. So, I mean, it was just intimidating just to be part of it. So, yeah, kailangan every time you speak, kailangan may, you you would make sense. And I was learning as much as I was part, you know, part of the coaching staff trying to help and teach. But I was learning from all these guys as well, uh, because nga yung mga achievements in their careers and you know how they can play the game. You know, I can just say I can just say do this, but I can't demonstrate. <laughs> Richard is being extremely <laughs> humble, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's really, uh, no, it, it, was, it was really intimidating, especially at that point, at that time of my uh, coaching career. I was really just trying to learn as much, from coach, starting from Coach Tim and, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, I was one, bago po as Coach Tim, I was, later naman ako kasi sa coaching staff, see, the Coach George got me in and I was, uh, uh, the late, yung pinaka last na na-add sa coaching staff na yon. And then when Coach Tim arrived yon, 
uh, nagkaroon ng reshuffle. But again, you know, it was uh, just an honor to be part of that. Thanks. We lost Jeffrey right in the middle of the third conference. Was it the third yeah. conference or just towards the beginning of the third conference or was it the second conference? After you won the, the Commissioner Cup. Cup, Coach. Yeah, that's right. We, we, I remember we lost him right in the middle of the game, right at the end of the game. I got a call in the locker room that told me that uh, Jeffrey was being moved to uh, Ineva. The other guy we lost also at that okay. time was Yancey, Yancey Del Campo. Um, we lost Yancey, we traded him away, so he never got a chance to finish off that third conference. I always felt bad about that. But, uh, um, but uh, the, you know, Jeff and, and Yancey didn't get a chance to, and Olsen yeah. didn't get a chance to finish off that, that, that grand slam with us. Elaine. Hey, Elaine. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, question ako. After you won the championship uh, against uh, TNT, heading into the third conference, naramdaman mo ba yung kumpiyansa ng team? Or did, did you guys talk about achieving the Grand Slam? Was it a part of your you know daily conversation as a as a unit, as a team? No? Um, siyempre, no, we're, as a team, talagang pinag, parang usapan na yun eh. Matunog na na um, we're going for the Grand Slam and it's, it's really put up um, so much pressure sa, sa bawat isa. But the confidence is there because of the chemistry nga katulad ng sabi ni Coach Tim. And I was really confident about them kasi dun ko nakita yung, yung definition ng team. And even the other other players sa ibang team, sinasabi sa akin, even Jason Castro, sinasabi sa akin ni Kuya Jason, ito yung, yung San Miguel yung definition ng 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 team, buong buo yung team. As in, from starting five to bench, uh, kahit sa third group, kahit sino na ipasok mo, alam yung gagawin and we, we, we know yung roles ng bawat isa. And also, yung mga coaches, sobrang, um, they, they make it easy for us na, na maka-adjust sa, sa mga, especially on game, ganyan. Talaga yung kahit sila coach uh, Olsen, coach Charles, coach Johnny and coach Jeff noon, naalala ko, um, pag may mga nakikita sila, lalapitan ka agad yung mga, mga players every time um, may isa sub, ganyan. And also, coach team, iba yung, iba yung mentality ni coach team na binibigay sa amin. Ah. Parang, parang sineset niya yung mind namin na um, this this uh, this the most important uh, game na we need to get. And also, parang sasabihin niya, mahirap, mahirap, mahirap. Pero dahil because of uh, his um, parang parang mental um, preparation sa amin it make it make us na parang maging parang on our toes palagi na parang oh you need to prepare hard because it's gonna be hard parang ganun so, so parang ako i was not um wala akong doubt na makukuha namin yung ano yung yung grand slam and also nung now nung, yun yung first time ko na makalaro ng ng championship dun sa apat eh so it was really parang sobrang special for me May tanong rin ako kay Lane kasi ano eh uh, nabasa ko lang no that uh, on June 7 uh, barber shops will be open so are you going to go out and Dad <laughs> 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 June 7 ano oh, paninindigan mo na ba yan? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> voucher kay Coach Tim ko for charge. <laughs> Sa Tony ang gayak magpapalupit. Lane para na isa din. Like us the end of the Clippers. I got new clippers right here, guys. I can try them out. My name is Billy on China. <laughs> you guys could you guys could be my first clients. I can go there in your house, Lee. Joe. <laughs> Who said Bruce Lee, look at, bro? Look at that. Whoa, Dwight, Alex. 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 Everybody. What? Again, Alex. Everybody meet. Let me see it again. Go ahead. Oh, June 7. Every, everybody meet up with Tony and Guy June 7. <laughs> Just heading quickly into that third conference, uh, you battled against uh, Rainer Shine with Arizona Reed. Uh, how, how difficult was it, you know, be, knowing that team so well after facing off against them in the Philippine Cup as well? Uh, they, they're rough, they're rugged, they're a really good team. How difficult were they as a challenge to complete the Grand Slam, Rafi? Can you repeat Can you that question? 
Yep. Cap, how, how difficult was it going up against uh, Rain or Shine yes, right, during right. that third conference just to complete the Grand Slam? Um, Rain or Shine was always tough. Like that, they were they were probably one of the toughest groups that we would uh, face, and it's almost like we had to play mind games against those guys because you know, you know, their thing was you know, just to out physical or be more physical than the other teams, you know, um, borderline dirty. And, um, they always gave us a run for our money. Um, um, so it was, it was very challenging. And I remember it got to the point that where we, you know, we were so frustrated that coach Tim would tell us, you know what? Every time they hit you guys, just smile. (laughs) <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. You remember that? I remember so, that. We were trying to get. Remember, we were trying to get Marcus to do that more than anybody. Oh no! Marcus yeah, would get yeah. so riled up. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it was. It was just really hard for Marcus, you know, because you know how passionate he is, and um, but it worked. You know, um, it, it really worked, and um. It just got us to stay focused on the task at hand, which was, you know, trying to win that championship. So, um, yeah, we just smiled so they didn't, you know, get us off our game or get us rattled with, you know, all the cheap shots that they were trying to do. Uh, Just to follow it up, Sipping Nakasama niya sa Gilas just before that season, um, Polly and Bo Belga as your reserve sa Gilas. Nakatulong ba ito yung familiarity nyo nga dahil yung sa mind games na ginagawa sa inyo na Rain or Shine? Mas na may inside information ka doon sa dalawang yon dahil nakasama mo? Eh, sakto lang. Um, kasi iba kasi yun na nun eh. Kumbaga yung team na nila. Kasi sa Gilas, Paul and um, Bo, parang hindi sila ganun sa ano eh. Kasi iba si, iba si Coach Jim, pag tinigawa ka niya, talagang um, binibigay mo yung best mo or kailangan tapangan, tapangan mo sa laro, di ba? So, um, pero, alam mo, nakakatulong talaga sa amin. Alam ni Joe to, Joe Divans. Talagang ini-scout namin sila, pwede na guys kami every game. Um, ini-scout namin yung mga um, binabantayan namin. Actually, yung mga play nila, pinapanood namin sa bahay-bahay. So, yun yung small things na nakakatulong sa amin. Ah, pero may, may comment doon ako kay Coach Chard naman. Hindi ka ba nahihiya doon sa gun sniffing? Nakita natin sa background, nagbubuat. Pakita mo rin yung dumbbell mo, Chard. Yung dumbbell mo dyan. Hindi, <laughs> kakapush up ko lang eh. Sorry. <laughs> may dumbbell si Chard, yung ganyang kalaki eh. <laughs> Sakin <laughs> lang mag-workout. <laughs> Baka maging bodybuilder ka din yung ping ha. Hindi, tumatakbo naman ako. Hindi kasi ano, um, wala talagang siguro ito na ako. Kung baga, pag walang workout, parang nanginginig yung katawan ko eh. So, uh, every every day workout, ganun. Pero balance naman, legs and upper. And then takbo, ganun. Barok, may naalala ko nung Game 5 nung Rain or Shine series. Parang magpo-free throw ka, pang ano na eh, pang, pang sigurado na. A- ano yung nangyari doon? Ano ba yun? Yung parang, siyempre, pa- parang takot-takot ka na eh. Yung, ano may moment na gano'n na parang first time mo mapunta sa line na yun na gano'ng moment na para masecure mo yung crown namin. Parang, Alam mo yung parang, siyempre, may halong ka ba? Ganun. Pero, siyempre, yung panang namin is, shoot mo lang talaga yung yung, menda, yung, yung focus ko doon. I-shoot mo talaga. Kahit ma-shoot yung isa, wala na. Kasi maka-shoot. At least, maka-safe na kami. Pero grabe yung, kung na yun, grabe, namin, grabe yung nangyari nun. Yung, pag, uh, yung tira ni Paul sa gilid, sobrang nakakaba yun eh. Akala ko, mag- mag-overtime po eh. Dalawang, so, dalawang beses yung open yun, di ba? Dalawang beses na open. Oh, si Jeff Chen. Si Polly si and Arizona. Jeff Chen. Sa Jeff oh, Chen pa. Jeff Chen. Jeff Chen. Jeff Chen. Jeff Chen. Mali. Mali. Mali, coach. Mali. Memory, memory, memory block na. <laughs> well, the last shot 
the last shot of them from Rain or Shine was courtesy of Arizona Reed. PJ, you saw it. You saw it. You saw it. You saw it. was Jeff Chan and, and, uh, and yeah. Paul Lee. Paul, they had two yeah. wide open looks. Then Arizona missed the last one. They had three shots in that last possession. Yeah. PJ, you know, you saw it. 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 Na kayo na yung Grand Slam champion. What was the first feeling na napumasok sa yon? Who are you asking? PJ. Ah, PJ. Ah, uh, yung time na yun nasa bench kesa ba nung tumira si Arizona. Medyo direct yung tira niya eh. Kaya parang di ka pa makahinga. So nung nakita ko na tumalbog yung bola. Ayun, kami lahat dun sa bench talaga. Kumasok kami dun sa loob kasi yun na yung pang Grand Slam eh. Yeah, uh, yung, yung feeling na yun talang parang hindi mo talaga describe yung feeling na yun. About Coach Tim, what, what did it what did it feel like to you, for you to win your your second Grand Slam? It was a relief for me. Championships are always a, a relief for me, just to, to finally get it over and uh, and uh, to be done with it, and and uh, you know finally there's no more pressure and. Um, I don't really feel the elation as much as I feel the relief. But the thing I remember about this team, and you know, that people always ask me, kind of, what's the difference between, you know, the Grand Slam with with the old Alaska team and the Grand Slam with this team? Um, the old Alaska team in the third conference, they just kind of breezed right through it. They went through a three, 13 game winning streak. Uh, they won the, they had a 3-0 lead in the finals, and then they lost one game and then they won the thing, but it was just like a piece of cake, you know, in the third conference. And uh, they also won four, four straight championships, but this team, what they had to go through was to win each championship was just absolutely heart wrenching every time. I mean, there was never, you know, a feeling of, Oh yeah, we got this one. Like Joe was saying, you know, earlier, uh, you know, <laughs> look who we got to play now. It was always that sense and, and that that perseverance and the, the character of having to win those kind of games every time. You were mentioned earlier in the second conference, we had to go the, the length with Alaska and then the length with uh, with FedEx and then go and play an undefeated team in Talking Tex. I mean, the, the, the character that this team showed uh, and to go through all that that we did was just, I mean, uh, it's unheard of. I mean, uh, to me, it was, you know, in many ways more satisfying, you know, the, you know, what they say, the harder it is, the more satisfying it is. And for us, it was so hard every moment, every time we were on the brink of not doing it so that when we finally did it, it was, you know, it was so satisfying, but it was also a, a relief, uh, to have it all, to have it all done because we did have the pressure you know I mean? The people were talking about it. And we weren't talking about it, but everybody around us was talking about it. So, you know, the pressure was there. So it was just, you know, I was just so happy for everyone. John Maxwell got us through that. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alex still dreams that, about John Maxwell in his dreams. Yeah. <laughs> now, now so many videos is. of John Maxwell. Mount Everest coach, never slept though. Oh, never slept. My Lord. Yeah. <laughs> The Mount Everest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, how important was Jerwin Gako among all of this? Gax was... <laughs> well, honestly, Gax was extremely important. Because he always had that, that energy, that positivity. Like, if you needed, like, a boost, like, Jerwin was that guy. So, as far as just staying positive and, you know... Pushing people, Gax was that dude. I know people like they joke around about you know his playing time and stuff like that, but he was extremely important part of the team. Yeah, let me just add no, dun sa kila Jerwin. I mean, those guys, Jerwin, Valacuna, tapos sila Lester Alvarez, sila sila Ken Bono, you know, guys that seldom play uh, sa official games. They're the ones, the first ones in practice the next day. Mm-hmm. Sila yung talaga nag extra work, you know, they don't let those yung uh, yung pag hindi sila nakalaro, yung sa loob, walang pampabigat sa bench, no. Uh sila they're the first guys in practice. And you know, they're very proud. They're going to there is there are ano eh, uh 
yung red team they're the scouting team and uh, they take pride on what they do and and you know a lot of our success also i know it's because of what they did for us in practice dahil talagang uh, pinahirapan nila yung mga players you know they uh sinarpen nila uh, during those practices so i mean those guys are really a huge part nito mga it's, it's ano. if i may add it's, it's just really hard to coach a team when the 10th, 10th 11th and 12th players are unhappy and you know they just and they don't they don't want to be there and and they're upset and it's just really hard to coach a team to, you know, and if you can find a guy like like Jerwin who's willing to be you know play that role and 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 be a part of that and still have that energy like like Justin said to to come out and help guys out and stuff like that that is so valuable so underrated to a great team and uh, you cannot be a great team and if your 10th 11th and 12th guys are unhappy and 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 don't care about things uh, if they're caring about things and you know your chemistry is tight uh, if they're if they're good then your chemistry is good so I, that's one of the ways I I try to measure the chemistry in our team is, is observing the 10th 11th 12th 13th 14th guy you know the practice players how they're handling themselves and if they're doing well and they're happy and they're okay with their role, I mean, everybody wants to play. There's no doubt about it. You play basketball so you can play. But if they're willing to sacrifice and, and, and play that role, then you know you've got great chemistry. And if you have great chemistry, you have an opportunity to have a great team. Well said, Coach Tim. Uncle? Um, I was just going to ask Coach Tim also, and everybody else, I guess, um, we're missing a few guys right now. See, Ian Sangalang was supposed to be here, but around noon today in Pampanga, one of the transformers on the electric post blew up. They have no electricity. They have no internet right now. Hopefully, uh, everybody's safe there, him and his family, and hopefully it gets resolved soon. And, of course, we're also missing James Yap, the two-time MVP James Yap. What did James Yap mean to this squad? Let's start with Coach Tim. With all of his greatness, what did he mean to this Grand Slam year? It was tough for James, you know, it really was tough for James. My entrance to the team was tougher on him than anybody um, because I demanded so much sacrifice from him. And, uh, you know, if he had had a different kind of personality, he could have totally wrecked us, you know, being the superstar that he was, he could have totally wrecked us if he wanted to be selfish about things. But, uh, you know, he was so nice and malleable and, and, and he was willing to sacrifice. And, and he got a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, criticism, you know, for his game and didn't realize that, you know, he just wasn't going to get the same kind of touches and the same kind of attention that, that he would in, in, a, in an offense that was built around him. Very similar to what Jojo Lastimosa went through with Alaska when we brought the triangle into Alaska. The same thing Michael Jordan made. You know when 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 they brought the triangle into to, to the Chicago Bulls, so that sacrifice he's made is just a really underrated part uh, of our success. And, and he made an effort to to get focused on defense. He was never a great defensive player. We all knew that, but he made the effort to be a, to be to try to be a great you know a contributing defender, and that was important to what we did. And. Uh, um, uh, and then, you know, he was big game James. You know, he won in, in two of the championship series. He won the MVP and because he had big shots, big moments all throughout those those championship series. So, you know, he lived up to his reputation as being a big game James. Um, you know, when we really needed him, he really showed up and made big shots. But to me, I'll always remember him as the sacrifice he went through. And he was, you know, we all know he was going through a lot of personal stuff during the, that year as well, you know. Uh, a lot of personal stuff was going on and, you know, he was going to court cases and stuff and coming back to practice, and having to go through that. And that was, that had to be really, really hard, but to his credit, he battled through it. And, and I think we all recognized that what he was going through and, 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 you know, the great compassion on this team, uh, they were, you know, they, they understood it and let him go through it and supported him while he did it. And I think that was another special part of this group, the, the compassion that they showed all the time to each other. Coach, before we end this reunion, Mark, explain mo naman sa amin kung ano yung dis display dyan sa likod mo yung mga kamay na yan. 
Yan yung, yan yung bigay sa atin ng Grand Slam. Yan yun. Nawala. I think we lost Mark. <laughs> Wala internet, Mark. <laughs> That's right. mo pa kasi. Everybody would lose Mark in whenever we play games. <laughs> internet yung kapitbahay. Pinagbayad <laughs> <laughs> yung kapitbahay. Kapitbahay, <laughs> naputan si Mark. While we wait for him, can I say something about Ian? Of course, Coach. Um, you know, because Ian's not here. I just wanted to be able to say one thing about Ian. I thought, you know, everybody gave us a hard time because we didn't defend any of our championships the next conference, the next year, following the Grand Slam, and I think a big, huge part of that was that we didn't have Ian anymore, and he got injured in the first game of the conference of the All Filipino, uh, like five, six minutes into the game, he tore his ACL, and he was out that whole year, and uh, uh, Ian played a very underrated role during the Grand Slam. I mean, he made. Big shots, and and uh, as a rookie, uh, he came in and and was fearless. And um, I don't know. I just think that you know we don't talk, but no one ever talks about Ian. His game is kind of a quiet game. He just kind of a silent, kills you silently. And you guys remember? Remember when we went to Korea? You guys remember when we went to Korea after uh, the Grand Slam year, and how well Ian played in the preseason? It was destroying the Korean teams. And everybody thought he was Korean. He thought he was a Korean import on our team. So he was destroying teams. And uh, um, and then, so, you know, he was taking that next step. Yeah, and we really thinking he was going to be our, our star going into that second year, that post-Grand uh, Slam year. And then he tore his ACL, which was devastating to us all. And I thought that was the reason we weren't quite the team we were. Uh, we didn't develop like we should have into the next year. So I was hoping to keep that team intact and then come back with Ian in 2016. And I thought we were going to be competing for a lot of championships in 2016. But then the team got broken up. Of course, but, uh, welcome that was to our Coach last Tim. dance. Uh, welcome to 208, German Coach Tim. Coach I was Tim, about yeah. to say, you lost Ian, but you still had German Gako there. <laughs> uh, uh, people didn't understand Ian was a special talent he was a special talent coming into, come into the league guys before we end this broadcast I just want to go around the room one last time to ask um, what did this team mean to you uh, PJ uh, we all know that you're about to finish up sa yung PBA playing career Ano yung mga pinakamatatandaan mo tungkol doon sa Grand Slam team nyo? Um, ito yung pinaka-highlight ng career ko and uh, sobrang thankful ako kung nauna kay Coach Team dahil uh, Coach Team uh, allowing me to believe that I can play defense uh, kasi dati talagang more, <laughs> more of offense. <laughs> so, yun yung talagang biggest confidence na binigay sa akin ni Coach Team. Yung to play defense dun sa mga best two guards in the league. So, sobrang thankful ako dun. And dun sa mga teammates ko na sobrang unselfish. Si Jody Vance always give me brush screen. Si Mark Baroka always give me <laughs> <laughs> post up pag medyo nawawala yung kumpiyansa. And uh, si Ping always there na para itulungan ka sa defense and Rafi. And also si Justin. And sobrang thankful ako sa development. Nakikita ko and Alex and si Mark Baroka. Pag every time nakikita ko sila na doing well dun sa coming up the events kasi all throughout my career parang doon ako lagi eh, coming up the events so sobrang masayang masaya ako nakikita ko sila na they're really doing well and uh, thankful ako dun sa sa mga contribution nila kasi nakikita ko rin yung sarili sa kanila so yun and uh, hanggang ngayon yun pa rin talaga yung ano ko yun pa rin yung mga memories na hindi mawawala sa akin and yun lang yung only jersey na <laughs> pinream ko yung Sunday Coffee talaga Kaya sobrang memorable sa akin yun. Thank you, Peach. <laughs> Mark, nawala ka kanina. You were nawala. explaining the hands. Hindi, na, na low bat. Ito pala. You. Low bat. Yan <laughs> yun. Yan yung grand slap. Mga kamay. Yan yun. Mga kamay yung buong team? Yeah. Uh, Justin. Oh. Ba't, wala, ba't wala yung kamay ko dyan? <laughs> Gusto daw niya to. Gusto daw niya to. Totoong kamay mo daw. Wala bang wala dyan, Mark? 
Jan Gats. So, si Alin, tapos Lester, Alex, uh, PJ, ako, James, uh, Ping, tapos yun niya, yun yung picture sa amin lahat. Tapos, Tamo na, wala Marcos, ako. Marcos, <laughs> tapos, okay. Coach Tim, Moscap, yan. Yan, si, si ba yan? Joe, uh, Ian, Rapi, and Yusef. Yan yung nakalagay. Yan yung... Yan wala yung... ako. Okay. <laughs> Doon ko. Ayun o. Focus, so, so, focus, focus mo, focus. Ayan o. Ayan o. The last chance. Yan, yan, yan. yan. The last chance. <laughs> the, the, the last chance. The last chance. Good, good. How about Joe? Any final messages to your former teammates in, in Patrick Coffee? <laughs> um... Yeah, I want to I just want to say it was uh it was a great honor to play with all those guys. Um just to just to know that that we were a part of history. We were a part of uh something special. Uh one of the greatest teams to to have played in the PBA. Um the the relationships and the bond and and the brotherhood that we all formed was or is something that uh, that that I'm just gonna tell my kids my grandkids about it's something that I truly cherish and uh, you know I just want to thank everybody there I'm pretty sure I, I mean I don't know like I like to think that I'm a nice guy but I don't know <laughs> yes, what everybody yeah. else. You are, Joe. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, yes, but, uh, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for, for you know, just well, having patience with me. And I know I can be thankful that time. But, you know, I really do love everybody that was on that team. And we, we had a we had a real brotherhood. So very proud. Justin? Uh, yeah, um, it was a special group, kind of like everybody else was saying, um, that brotherhood, uh, it was fun, you know, going to practice and playing with everyone, it was fun, you know, we were winning, um, everybody had each other's back, it was just, it was, it was a tight-knit uh, family, I'd say, um, but yeah, I was honored to have played with everybody there. Lucky to be a part of that history. And one of the highlights of my career for sure. So thankful for everybody and thankful for that team. And yeah. So, Jerry, just a message to your former teammates. Baka pwedeng hindi ng last time. <laughs> Gaps, Gaps, kay mayor ka pa, Gaps, ha? Ha? Oo oh, nga, kay mayor ka pa. Ang city hall pa ako, eh. <laughs> uh, Siyempre sa akin, uh, sobrang thankful ako dahil, ano, naging part ako ng Grand Slam team. Uh, kasi, siyempre, bihira nung maging uh, isa sa mga PBA pa yan, maging part ka ng Grand Slam team, lalo na kay Coach Team Cone, siyempre sa lahat ng coaching staff. Lahat ng mga teammates ko, sobrang uh, mabait. Uh, miss ko na kayo, guys. Uh, sana uh, reunion soon. Uh, good luck sa mga karir niyo sa team niyo sa ano, PBA. Uh, ingat kayo lagi. God bless. Thanks, bro. Mark? Guys. Sino, Mark? Ako? Ikaw, Mark. Barok. Sorry. <laughs> Siguro ako, mga sa lahat, uh, salamat sa Panginoon na binigami ng chance na ito mga grants lang na ya uh, uh, kay coach team uh, wala na binigay sa amin sa akin sa bawat isa ng teammates uh, sa mga teammates ko uh, sa mga yung especially yung mga seniors ko uh, James Pingris uh, BJ Joe Rapi yung nandiyan na solid na tapos yung mga <laughs> yung mga teammates ko na laging Lagi kaming ginawa ni Coach Richard. Ako, si Alain, si Alex, and Justin, Ian, 
So yung yung parte namin doon, yun yung second group is sobrang fun. Nagpapasalamat ako. Tsaka yung mga third group na sila Jerwin nga, sila Jerwin, sila Lester, JR Kawaling, tapos sila Ken Bono, uh, sino pa ba yung mga uh, andun? Bal, Bal ako niya. Bal ako niya. So, Bal. Yun yung, pero yung mga ty- time na katawanan, nagpapasalamat ako sa kanila na siyempre, di mo na ma- di mo na makikita yun. Ang taon na kahit hindi sila ginagamit, nandiyan pa rin sila binigay na yung best nila na para matulungan yung bawat isa ng Grand Slam. So, nagpasalamat ako, especially yung mga coaching staff na nagbibigay sa amin. Coach Richard, Coach Johnny, Coach Jeff, Coach Olsen, uh, Coach Mon, Coach Jason, na andun sila dati na alam mo yung pag struggle ka, lagi kang dinadaan ka na lang sa tawa. Siyempre, pang dagdag kumpiyansa din yun eh. Nasa yun na yun. Pag, Minsan, pag hindi ka makashoot, pagkagalita ka ni Coach Richard, alika, turuan kita mag-pitro. <laughs> <laughs> pag hindi ka makashoot, siyempre, yun yung parang si Coach Richard ka makikita mo kasi si Coach Richard yung pitro eh. So, yun yung time na parang sobrang memorable pa sa akin. Yung time na Coach Tim, every time na pinapagalitan ako, pag... Sobra kang gigil sa inyo ni Coach Tim. <laughs> oh. Always. Remember, Mark, don't let your enthusiasm get in, you know, get in front of your execution. Uh, thank you. Po, thank, Mark, thank you yung paborito mong linya, yeah. Mark. Yung ano, yung yesterday. Yesterday end, ended last night. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Pero you said yesterday ended Mark. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mark, Because kung si Coach Richard, kung si Coach Richard yung free throw shooting coach nyo, sino naman yung nagte-training sa inyo sa mga one-hander? Lahat kami one-hander eh. Uh, di, di ko nga alam eh, baka nagkakasabay-sabay kami eh. Kasi, oh, uh, ganun yung si tira PJ, na yung di ba? Sino oh, ba na una? Buti naman. Sige, sige. Dati na. Sige, sige. Siyempre. James Yap. James Shop. Yan yung James Shop. Eh. Yun yung laro niya talaga eh. Yung ganun. Tapos nakikita ko si PJ. Tapos ako nag-start yung time na parang nakita ko sila Joe. Pingris. Yun yung parang si, pwede pa lang mag-100 ito eh. So parang tuloy-tuloy na lang. Puro 100 kami lang. Well, with Marcus, we were like the worst free throw shooting team in the league. Remember everybody would foul Marcus on purpose? Marcus would shoot like 20 free throws a game. <laughs> and everybody would complain that we get two more free throws than the other team. I don't know if you guys remember that. But it was always complaining we had more free throws than the other team, but everybody would foul Marcus all the time automatically. He'd get 20 free throws a game. And then the next day they'd say, I remember talking text would always be complaining that we got extra free throws from the team. And I would say, well, quit fouling Marcus all the time. <laughs> that was Richard's fault because we were such a bad free throw team. <laughs> Uh, Rafi, you played for so long in the PBA. Played with uh, a lot of great teams. But what what did what did set this apart for you? What made this team special? Um, I think the camaraderie uh, we had, um, and I, I think that that started with uh, Coach Tim coming in and uh, just changing the culture that you know, we were used to, um, you know, Coach Tim brought a different aspect to um, to the coaching that we were used to, um, you know, as one of the guys mentioned earlier, how, you know, he'd have us watching, you know, John Maxwell or, you know, or, or you know, some ex, ex, uh, excerpt from a, a book or something like that, you know, it was always – something that would um, something challenging like something that would challenge our minds and you know and it would help us not only on the court but in life um, and um, you know and everybody just bought in um, and um, he made it fun like practice was fun you know you um, you know you wanted to go to practice you knew you were going to have a good time. You know, everybody competed. Everybody, you know, just, you know, we liked each other. We, you know, we, we just had a good time. 
Um, just a very special group, like, you know, even even from the imports, like, and I need to know your secrets, Coach Tim. How how do you always get these imports that <laughs> just come in? You win all the time. And and this dates back to, you know, um Sean Chambers days and you know the those imports from back in the day until today he's still doing it. So, you know. We're gonna to have to sit down and have a conversation because I need to <laughs> steal some of your secrets. I don't know how you do it, but you know it's uh, it's amazing. Um, it's oftentimes, hit and miss. We just have to hit. You don't miss too much. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, yeah, it was just. Uh, I just think we just had a um, uh, just a great group of guys from from you know the assistants to you know our head coach uh management was awesome rena's always awesome you know boss cap is boss cap. Uh, hello everyone hi boss cap there he is there you are cap i'm waiting for you i'm in a stud yeah. meeting last, last minute cap coach yeah salute coach so, you know, as they always, as 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 we learn um, through one of Coach Tim's infamous classes, that we were only strong as strong as the weakest link, and our weakest link was pretty strong. So you know, um, you know that, and that carried us through. You know, everybody was on the same page, and that's what we talked about working on getting everybody to buy in and being on one page. Um, and that's with everything. So um, I think that's why this group was so special to me. And, you know, I love you guys. I love every one of you all. Um, you know, even uh, we appreciate what you guys do also as um, commentators and, and bringing what you bring to the fans and, you know, the excitement you bring to the fans. Um, um, we 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 really appreciate you guys. Um, and yeah, to teammate coaches, all you guys, you know, it's just um, it's gonna be unforgettable. And I was just happy to be a part of that. Bring me blessed and thankful. Thank you, Cap. Thank you, Cap. Thank you, Cap. Thank you, Cap. Thanks, Cap. Alvin. Thank you, Cap. Um, you, Sorry, you, I'm late. Sorry, won, I'm late. You won a bunch of championships in the PBA, won four MVPs, but being on the sideline, being the team manager of the Grand Slam team, ano yung ano yung special dito sa grupo na to? Cap urgent. Cap. Yes, sir, Carlo. Yes, yes Cap. Um, question lang. What what made this team special, Cap? The Grand Slam team of 2014. Um, of course, everybody's dream naman is to win a Grand Slam behind the PBA. And blessed to be a part of this uh, group. Kasi, nung player ako, uh, ano eh, never, never kong nakuha na achieve yung Grand Slam. But now as team manager, uh, na na kuha ko yung goal na yon and nakita ko lang sa team na they're very serious they're very focused ah uh, syempre with the guidance of coach team coach team salute thank you and the rest of and the rest of the coaching staff tapos yung combination ng players veterans and na draft nami si Ian parang gra grabe complete na uh Juna for uh, for uh for championships. Uh many times na talagang even in the ano eh parang eliminations hindi maganda yung record namin eh but towards the playoffs dun dun bumaba na yung team because of yung lumalabas na yung character ng team. Man in the table. <laughs> yes. <laughs> parating ganun parating sa parating 
sa semis best, uh, best of seven with Dinebra. Ganon, ganon yung para, parating ano ng team. So talaga yung character and yung uh, yung relationship yung ano ng team, yung samahan ng team, grabe. So solid. You know, my, my the funny moment with Cap uh, with that Pure Push team was when Enzo made his free throws and Cap came over and hugged him. That was my first moment that I remembered, I mean, that I really realized that, you know, I always thought, you know, Cap won four MVPs, you know, he's, you know, he, he's, he's way above everything. He doesn't really care. He just kind of, you know, playing out the, the thing with it, but he showed me how much he really, really cared at that moment when he hugged uh, Denzel. I mean, wow. Cap was truly crying at that point. I mean, it was amazing to see his passion, his compassion. Thank you, Coach. That. that was special, Coach. <laughs> it was a special moment, and I, I, I'll never forget that. That's ingrained in my mind. That that moment. Probably, probably the best uh, finals game, game seven. Yeah, with Denzel. With Denzel. That was amazing. Speaking of speaking of special moments, uh, Alex Mayari, from not really knowing your role as you said when you were with Petron to a Grand Slam champion, part of this team. How special was that year for you, Alex? Oh man, for me, I'm like, I'm that guy who should be on the team, like for real. I I truly think that, like, I don't know, my situation for me, like, timing when I came out here in the PBA, like, the timing just, I guess, was perfect. Like, I struck lightning in a bottle with this team. Like, if I came like one year later or one year earlier, I guess anybody really, um, then this didn't happen for me. But everything I have now, like, like I have a restaurant in La Union, like, I ne on a beach. Like, I'm doing stuff I would have never, I can't even, like, dream about. Like, He's frozen. <laughs> yeah, I think we lost Alex, unfortunately. I was going to tell Alex, I was going to, oh, there you go. I was going to tell Alex that we moved. Uh, actually, if I may say, I moved heaven and earth to get Alex on our team. I moved heaven and earth to get him on this team. I was so excited to have Alex yeah. on this team. Um, and I just, just really loved his skills and, and everything that he brought to us. Coach, uh, I was teammates with Jonas at NLEX for a, a month or a conference, two conferences. Yeah. And I think you traded me for Jonas, I think. Yeah. yeah. Right? Well, Jonas, yeah, he was, I don't yeah. think he liked me for the first week. I was like, man, it's not my <laughs> problem, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> yeah, we, we 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 made a very yeah, complicated trade to get you. And yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure to get you. I'm pretty sure like yeah, Coach Tim's trip and I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Um, uh, we lost you though, Alex. We didn't hear the end of what you were saying. You were locked on. Oh, oh no, I was just, I was just saying, like, any, like, any, any adventure or invent or I, I honestly never thought I could take care of myself like this, like, in a, in this way financially. Like, honestly, I, I thought I was gonna like have a normal job, like, parking cars or something, and <laughs> just by chance landing in a bottle like I said earlier man it's I think about it a lot like especially now growing up it's like ridiculous in every sense of the word yeah neat, neat. get emotional sorry yeah. <laughs> yeah think uh, um Ping being the captain of the squad for that year Ano yung fondest memories or ano yung ibig sabihin sa'yo ng Grand Slam team na to sa dami na nang pinagdaanan mo sa karir mo and sa buhay mo? Oh, of course. Siyempre, history yan, di ba? But, um, 
gusto ko muna sabihin na gusto ko muna magpasalamat kay Coach Tim. You know, um, big, 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 big factor talaga siya sa, sa team, sa mga assistant coach. Thank you. Thank you. Um, kahit anong lakas ng player, kahit anong galing nila, kung wala kang, wala kang coach at saka mga assistant coach na magagaling, useless yung mga talib ng mga player. Kasi kailangan mong Ang hirap din gumawa kasi minsan ng ano eh, ng team eh. You know? So, iba yun ginagawa ni ni coach sa, sa team niya. Every time, kahit sa mapunta siya, Alaska, Sandy, Ginebra. You know, grabe yun ano eh. Grabe yun, um, grabe yun. Kung baga, yun pag-mentor niya sa mga player, hindi lang coach talaga, mentor din talaga si coach team. You know, ang gusto ka niya, yung kakausapin ka niya, Talagang sasabihin niya sa'yo kung ano yung gagawin mo. Maganda rin sa kanya yung sinisigawan ka niya. <laughs> uh, pinapagalitan ka niya. Kasi you know what? Yung sasabihin ko ha. Pag hindi ka kinausap ni Coach Tim, hindi ka pinagalitan. Kung hindi ka niya sinigawan, hindi ka niya nagusto. So, I'm so blessed. Sobrang blessed ako na lagi niyang ginagawa sa akin yun. Yes, pinapagalitan niya ako all the time. Sinisigawan niya ako dahil para sa akin yun. ikakabuti ng team namin. So sa mga team ko, gusto ko so bless na nakasama ko sila. Uh, grabe 'yun. Grabe 'yung pagmamahal namin, grabe 'yung sacrifice namin, grabe 'yun. You know, um, ang sikreto talaga ng Grand Slam is 'yun, paano kayo mag-push sa isa't isa 'yung mga team? Yung team mo kailangan mo siyang i-push and then Kailangan kanya niya rin i-push. Yun lang yung sikreto doon eh. Kailangan makinig ka kung ano yung gusto ng coach. So, siguro napatunayan namin yun dahil talagang inobey namin si ano si coach team sa lahat ng ginagawa nila. So, may tiwala kami sa kanya eh. So, I'm so blessed na naging part ako ng grants lang sa lahat ng mga teammate ko, sa lahat ng tulungan namin sa team, kung paano kami mag-practice. So, sobrang blessed lang talaga na Um, nagkaroon ako talaga ng isang coach na team coach at saka mga assistant coach namin. Kasi pag, pag ayaw, kung, baga, kung, kung may mali talaga sa'yo, kakusapin ka niya eh. Kahit, you know, kahit superstar ka o mapa third team ka, talagang ang maganda sa nila, kinakausap nila bawat isang player. Yun yung maganda. So, No, kaya nung na-trade si Coach Tim. <laughs> Thank you, Pen. <laughs> Talagang hindi. Alam mo, I'm, 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 I'm a little overwhelmed right Kaya now. Sabihin sa'yo ito. <laughs> Dahil sobrang um, gusto, sobrang grabe yung, yung impact ng ginawa niya yung Coach Tim sa buhay ko. Kung bakit naging Mark Pingris ako dahil siguro sa mga sa coach So, coach, sa lahat ng mga assistant coach, sa lahat Coach Tim coach, uh, thank you. Wow. Sa mga thank you so much. Uh, talagang um, kumbaga katulad ng sinasabi ni Joe siguro madalas kong i-share din sa family ko to sa mga kaibigan ko na sobrang blessed kami na nagkaroon kami talaga ng magandang relasyon sa team kaya siguro nagkaroon kami siguro nakuha namin yung Grand Slam so kaya nga laging pag nakikita ko si Coach talagang lagi kong iyayakap tayo <laughs> but sa lahat ng mga Coach you know talagang saludo kami sa inyo kung paano ko turo ni Coach um Uh, Richard na sa post move so yun lahat lahat yun talagang um, nasa ano kayo yung coach talagang um, inoonor at kumbaga kahit pagtanda ko at talagang nasa sarili ko yun daladala ko yun habang buhay so thank you so much sa uh, lahat ng mga teammates ko Joe lahat kayo sa PJ Justin you know Rock Mark sa mga wala rito James Yap you know uh, Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Naging part ng dance lang. Thank you, Ping. Thank you. Thank you, Ping, man. That means a lot, man. Means a lot. Miss Rina, I know every iteration of every you. batch of your team dito sa franchise nyo, you, feel, you treat them or you feel like they are your family. But how special was this batch, the 2014 team for you? Um, Very special. I mean, not to be... not to discriminate the current batch or the batches before the Grand Slam batch. Huh? But this one was very special because ito talaga yung team, well, personally, for me, this was the time that I felt I belonged. 
the that I felt what I did for the team really mattered. That was most important for the coach and, and what he, parang what we, the system that he gave na para ma, matulungan ko yung team. Ang isa lang ang turo sa akin kasi ni Coach Tim noon time na yun. Um, it was to make everybody feel comfortable. Lahat ng, like, especially when out of town. Because sila, their job is to play. So everything else in the back end, I should take care of. And I think I was able to do my job well kasi nananalo naman kami. <laughs> Thank you, Ma'am Rina. Thank you. And yung system and the discipline that um, started with us. So parang sobrang thankful ako. Dun, dun ko feel na, wow, I can belong sa group na to na lahat sila lalaki. And I've never felt discriminated. Walang gender bias. I felt like I was one of them. Na feel ko nga lalaki na din ako eh. So, <laughs> pero yun, parang, sobrang, sobrang saya to be with this team. And I think nag-trickle down na siya up to, up to today, to the current um, team that Magnolia has. So yun, sobrang thankful ako kasi nag-start yun with um, si na coach team. Thank you rin, Ma'am Prince. Hanggang ngayon, uh, pag nakikita mo ako, nililibre mo pa rin ako sa Starbucks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pakakunat mo pa rin hanggang ngayon, Char. <laughs> and thank Kailangan you, thank you again, Ma'am Rina. For... Ah. Thank you again, Ma'am Rina, for helping us put this together. Speaking of guys who put in the work, kung hindi naging head coach ng two weeks si Coach Char, malam ang hindi kayo nanalo ng Grand Slam. How proud of you are about your work here, Coach Shard? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, ano lang to eh. Um, um, there are good teams, there are great teams, and there is a special team. And, and itong grupo na to is a special team. And I think at the time that we uh, uh, accomplished the Grand Slam in 2014, hindi pa realize at that time yung magnitude. I mean, everybody saying, yeah, okay, Grand Slam, it was really great. But you don't really feel it yet. But right now, years after, na, you know, magkakahiwalay na rin kami ng teams, this is a time that you really feel uh, uh, what you accomplished. And you realize, especially in time na ngayon that we're all facing this pandemic, no? you really look back at, uh, at your life. Um, and you, you see what the important uh, things are. And you realize that that was really a part of your life that really changed everything for you. Um, and that's why uh, you can you can hear all the, the guys here uh, whenever they talk, they're getting emotional because it was really special. And yung bond na form of that team is, ano eh, uh, in, in, may hirap ma-describe. Um, and every, that's why every time we see each other sa venues or kahit saan, you know, it's just like yesterday, parang kasama mo pa rin sila. Um, um, it's something that I don't think anybody can experience unless you're really part of this team. It's very hard to explain. And, um, you know, just being given a chance to be part of that um, from just being a fan of the league, nung bata pa tayo, lumaki tayong fan of the league, to being part of the history that, you know, nobody else can erase. And, you know, later on, years from now, when we're all retired, you know, and, and not in the league anymore. And they decide to do a, a documentary about about this team <laughs> and you'll be part of that. You know, it's a, it's a, parang ano eh, it's, it's really, it's really special. And, um, and I, I guess, you know, this time is the best time to, to really think about stuff. And, uh, yun nga, yung mga naging uh, experiences namin all together, nila Ping, nila Mark, sila, sila PJ hoping I'm really hoping na ano na matuloy itong season ngayon at least para bigyan ng magandang retirement ceremony to si PJ because he deserves it and uh, of course si, si Joe and Rafi I don't think you'll be retiring soon you'll be playing until your seventh year <laughs> so something like that and, uh, uh, of course Mel you know and you know and other guys si Boscap is really uh, it's really a big part, and even see see Jerwin, no. So I mean, yung mga bonds lang na form from from those years until now, yung value nun, I think was uh, really mas nare realize mo ngayon. So I'm just thankful for everyone. Thank you, Grand Coach Chard, for joining us. And uh, it's hard enough to win one championship in the PBA, and it's almost impossible to actually get a Grand Slam. This man 
in the middle of the Sandwich franchise back in 2014, actually has two of these Grand Slams now. Coach Tim, how do you do it? <laughs> you, know, you get a lot of bunch of special people around you, and and uh, and they do it for you. Um, you know, I've been blessed to be around two special groups. You know, I can't I can't disregard Alaska and how special they were. But you got to remember, it was like 19 years, 18, 19 years after that uh, Grand Slam that 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 Europe was won. What, what it's been like six years since then. So this is the only time in the last 26, 24, 25 years that they that someone's won a Grand Slam. So it just goes to show again. Richard said it. They're they're good teams. They're great teams. And they're special teams. And this was a special group that found ways to win. And I, I look back on it and I say, I still don't understand how we did it. But guys played big moments, big times. And, uh, and they did that because they were just special guys who had a special relationship. And uh, I just feel, you know, special to be a part of it. And, I mean, it, this has been a, a love fest for me, guys. I, you know. Uh, you're making me emotional talking about me and all this stuff, but uh, this was all you guys, man. And stuff you went through to get there was really incredible. Uh, I just steered the ship, but you you did all the work. Thank you for that wonderful message, Coach Tim. And before we let everyone go, we just want to wish Peter June Simon a happy, happy birthday. This happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, <laughs> it's like a thousand cows dying all at the same time. <laughs> I think maybe because we were all getting older, none of us wanted to really celebrate our birthday, so it was more sad than happy. <laughs> Again, we thank Joe, everyone. Joe, for, that was for actually Joe was the one that did that all the time. Joe, that was Joe's birthday song. <laughs> you were the one that started that. That's my favorite. DJ, happy birthday from 2OT and from the rest of your Sandmi Coffee teammates. Beach. Naka mute ka, Pete. Pete, you're on mute. Pete, you're on mute, man. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, there sorry. you go. <laughs> sorry, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Carlo and Magu. Thank you so much. Si Alain yata hindi nakapag-message. Lane, mes final message to your Sandmig Coffee teammates. Nawala kanina um, eh. Andiyan na ba yun? <laughs> I'm blessed. Para ka ng Mariano ha. Andiyan, nangyari sa'yo. That would be. I still don't believe that's hey. Elaine. I think that's somebody else. Imposter. <laughs> <laughs> like Elaine. Hey, Elaine. Remember yeah. um, McDonald's in Korea? What? <laughs> Remember I remember hey, what, me, what happened, McDonald's? Happy huh? and Yusuf were buying in McDonald's. And then you, you came by, he opened the door, he shouted at us because we were already late in the bus. <laughs> and the whole McDonald's crew was shocked. And we're, we're like one kilometer away from the bus. We're walking fast. <laughs> and, um, I'm just blessed because, like, uh, like PJ, because ito lang din yung ito lang din yung jersey na pinaframe ko buong career ko. Yung San Mi Coffee. Yeah. Nice. Kasi, Nicely. <laughs> Because of, because, of, because of this team, because of my teammates and my coaches, nabili ko tong house na tinitirang ko right now. Yes. So, I'm really blessed wow. and uh, thankful yeah, talaga sa bawat isa. Ayan, simula kay Ping, kila Mark, uh, James, PJ, Ping, Rafi, Joe, coach team especially, uh, siya yung parang isa sa um, nagkuha and nag-ano nung na... Uh, na kaya napunta ako sa team na to eh. And 
as in ang dami kong natutunan from them and yun I'm really thankful and blessed na naging part ako ng history and ng team ng Sanmi yun lang Jablain 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 Korean ka Congratulations Jablain Jablain Korean ka na <laughs> Bruce Lee ang kas Bruce Lee Everyone, again, for, from 2OT, for Magumar John, uh, we thank you for, for joining us here in this outstanding uh, reunion of the San Miguel Coffee Mixers. Mamrina, maraming salamat po for setting it up and getting everyone on this call. So that has been it. We thank everyone who watched on our Facebook Live. We thank, of course, the members of the San Miguel Coffee Mixers from 2014. And we will see you next time. Thanks again, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Awesome thank you. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then I will go high five, then you slap my hand so oh, hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I said to you, Joe, come on, don't get mad at me, then you laugh. If, even if you're so mad that time. <laughs> I remember that, please, my bad. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> come on, Joe, don't get mad at me, then you laugh. <laughs> I, was, I remember that. Oh. Yo. All right. Hey, good to see you guys. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Bye. 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 Bye.